say it cool, man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, team? Keep it clean. I was just watching Lamar's price go up. Woo! Kyler Murray. Man, what an offseason this has been in the NFL. Um, literally from start to finish. It has been crazy. It's been nonstop. There has been something going on like every single day. And we didn't even have no, no slow. There was no slow period of this offseason. And Kyler Murray, he was a big part of it in what the Arizona Cardinals, what they had going on. Now, it went back. It went back. First, uh, Kyler Murray, he had ended up scrubbing his Instagram. And all these people were like, man, Kyler Murray. They just start being these reports talking about how he's immature. He don't click with people in the locker room. He's a bad teammate. Does he really deserve a contract? It was all this and all that stuff, man. And I, I, I've seen people say, oh, Kyler Murray, man, the fact that since he was drafted both by the NFL and the MLB, then he's probably really feeling himself and whatnot. But um, there were a lot of questions that people were bringing up surrounding one Kyler Murray. Uh, and then Kyler Murray ended up finally putting everything back on the Instagram because after he sent his message, he's like, I'm going to let them Arizona Cardinals know how I feel. I'm scrubbing them from my Instagram. I'm, I'm, I've had it. I'm, I'm over it. That's it. And, hey, boom, he, he got what he wanted. He got what he wanted. His college teammate, Hollywood Brown, he scrubbed everything from the Baltimore Ravens. He scrubbed everything from his Instagram from the Baltimore Ravens. And then he got what he wanted. You know what? I'm, I'm getting ready to scrub just everything from my Instagram and see if I can get something that I want. But I, I, I don't really have anything that I, I really desire. Anyway, uh, so... Um, Kyler Murray, uh, he, th there was a lot of speculation on if he was going to get paid or not. Uh, and then that speculation turned into, oh, the Cardinals, they in conversations with Kyler Murray about a, a long-term contract extension. And that just came up like yesterday. That came up like yesterday. And then all of a sudden today it was like, oh, the, the Cardinals and Kyler Murray, they're real close. And then all of a sudden, boom, boom, it, it became official. The Cardinals and Kyler Murray agreed to a five-year, $230.1 million contract extension. And the average for that is 46.1 mil per year. Now, when you look at uh, the highest paid quarterbacks based off of the average amount of money per year, uh, number one is Aaron Rodgers at 50.2 mil per year. Ooh, it's filthy money. Filthy. Um, and then it's a big drop off because next up is Kyler Murray. Next up is Kyler Murray. Uh, and he averages 46.1 mil per year. So that is 4.2 mil lower. Yeah, that's 4.1 mil. Excuse me, 4.1 mil lower. Uh, so that, that is a significant difference because from Aaron Rodgers to Kyler Murray is 4.1 mil lower. But then from Kyler Murray to Deshaun Watson is 0.1 mil. Like not 1 mil lower, 0.1 mil lower. Because Kyler Murray gets 46.1 mil per year. Deshaun Watson gets 46 mil per year. So it's super close. And then it's still close because Deshaun Watson is right over Patrick Mahomes. Deshaun Watson gets 46 mil per year. Patrick Mahomes gets 45 mil per year. So 1 mil less. And then Josh Allen is right under Patrick Mahomes because Josh Allen's getting 43 mil, Patrick Mahomes getting 45. So it's a two mil drop off. So somebody who just reported to their facility today, somebody who just reported to the Baltimore Ravens facility today uh, has got to be looking at all this just with a big smile on his face. And that is one Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson, of course, has been the talk. Oh, my goodness. He has been the talk of so much this offseason. A lot of the stuff that he's been to talk about has been unnecessary stuff. Um, a lot of stuff that he's been to talk about has been just a lot of fluff. Um, but one of the conversations that has been surrounding Lamar Jackson this offseason has been the contract. Has been his contract. Of course, uh, we know he is in the fifth year of his rookie deals on his fifth year option to where he's making, I think, about 23.1 mil per year. Um, and we know his value 
to these Baltimore Ravens. His value to this team is just, whew, it's, it's, it's through the roof, as you all know. Um, Lamar Jackson, he saved this team. We remember where this team was headed back in 2018. Even if we go to the previous years, look at 2017. Ooh, look at 2016. Ooh, look at 2015. Ugh. But then in 2018, it was looking like those two. But then insert Lamar, insert life, insert winning, and the Ravens haven't looked back since. When Lamar is in the lineup, they win. They win. Yeah, in the, in the postseason, they got some more work to do. They certainly got some improvements to make. Um, but normally, uh, they win. They are a very winning football team. Um, again, just got to translate that to the playoffs, and then, boom, we'll be set. But anyway, um, Lamar Jackson's impact on the Baltimore Ravens has been crazy in a good way. Um, and with Lamar Jackson... He and his camp, they got to be looking at this like, ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Because Kyler Murray, uh, this, this makes it, in a sense, it makes it a little bit easier for, a li like a little bit, not too much, but it makes it a little bit easier for the Ravens. Because this, this is at least the average per year. That's the floor. That's the floor. Kyler Murray is second in average per year. That's the floor for the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. And the deal will be no less than that. No less. And I, in fact, it's going to be significantly more. But it, it cannot and it will not be any less than that. <laughs> it won't be. Um, now, where it gets tricky, at least for me, where it got tricky at was the guaranteed money. Because, yeah, uh, you know these contracts, you know the max value of these contracts. It's not, uh, it's not what the guaranteed is. The guaranteed is the money that they're getting no matter what. Kyler Murray is guaranteed 160 mil. Now, um, in guaranteed money, he is at number two. Ooh, that's, that's a lot of money. When you sit there and think about it, 160 mil guaranteed. That's a lot. Oh, him and Hollywood, they about to go celebrate. But um, guarantee money, 160 mil. Uh, right under that, uh, at number three, is Aaron Rodgers with 150.8 mil. Wow, that's a lot of guarantee money. That's a lot of money. So Aaron Rodgers is under Kyler Murray by 9.2 mil. Um, but the next, so is Aaron Rodgers number three, Kyler Murray number two. Number one for guaranteed money is Deshaun Watson, and he got 70 mil more guaranteed than Kyler Murray. That is a <laughs> lot of money. And with Deshaun Watson, um, I'm still like, just every time I see that contract, I always get like confused and like, like man, the Browns, like how, how and we know Deshaun Watson can play. There's no question about that. But how did the Browns commit so much to somebody who has so many questions surrounding them? Of course, it's allegations and, and all the people who truly knows what happened are Deshaun Watson and, and anybody else who is directly involved. Those are the only people who, who truly know what happened. Um, so hopefully that gets worked out right now. The rumor, the biggest rumor right now is that it's expected that Deshaun Watson gets eight game suspension. We'll see what happens. Nothing's official till it's official, but we'll see what happens. And then there was a story going around that if he gets suspended for the whole year, then he's going to, like, sue the NFL or something like that. My point is I, I, I was just, like, confused and, like, how, how could you give so much guaranteed money to somebody with so many questions? So I felt like what Deshaun Watson got, like, you know, Lamar and his camp, they were looking at that like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Even though a lot of NFL owners, it was said that a lot of owners did not like that Deshaun Watson deal. They were upset with the Browns for giving him all that money because it messed it up for them. Because when they pay their quarterbacks, their quarterback's going to be looking at that like, hey, hey, that's what I want. And can you blame them? Can, can you blame them? Especially if they're a starting quarterback, if they've had success. Uh, and that's if they've had playoff success or not. Can, can you blame them if they look at Deshaun Watson's contract and be like, oh, yeah, I'm next? But apparently the Cardinals were like, they, this Deshaun Watson's deal is not going to be the bar. 
as far as guaranteed money. Now, overall, yeah, but guaranteed, no. Because, again, 160 mil for Kyler Murray. Aaron Rod- Did Aaron Rodgers get paid before or after Deshaun Watson? I think before, but I don't 100% remember. But I think it was before. Either way, um, Lamar's happy. Straight up, L- L- Lamar's happy. Because with all the, the more action that's going on with the quarterbacks, with quarterbacks getting paid, of course, Derek Carr got paid this offseason. Kyler Murray now got paid. Aaron Rodgers got paid. Deshaun Watson, he got paid. With all that action going around with the different quarterbacks getting their money, Lamar Jackson just sitting back looking and smiling because he knows that his time is coming. Whether it's this offseason, whether it's next offseason, he knows that it's on the way. And one thing that I absolutely loved is that he knows that him, his camp, they are in firm control of this thing. Again, again that, that last presser, it lets you know. And they, they let you know publicly. They may have known for a long time how much control they have over this thing. But that last presser that Lamar Jackson had, they let it be known publicly. They put it out there for the world to see like, hey, yeah, we, we calling the shots. Lamar Jackson, he he knows like his money is on the way. I just hope that it's coming from the Ravens. They again, they know what the floor is. They know what the floor is. And that floor, every single day that he's not paid, the floor just keeps rising. It keeps rising. That floor, that floor keeps coming up from under his feet and getting higher, getting taller. So that clock is ticking. 